save, 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 save your consternation. Save your reaction. You see? Because it, 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 it doesn't do, it doesn't mean anything now because we've already experienced 26 elementary children Amen. being Amen. slaughtered the same way. But, but, sa but, save, but save your reaction. Save your consternation. Because we've already experienced 50, 60 people slaughtered attending a country western Amen. music workshop. Save it, save it, save it. How can we allow this? Amen. Tell me the country is not lost. Under, under, the, under the, 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 the grip of an organization that is pushing what they call the Second Amendment, which has nothing to do with the original meaning of the Second Amendment. Now, you see, in all of us, all of us kind of, we la la along until that day comes to your school. See? See? We la la along, and when I'm looking at these 14 year old girls, you know, and these 16-year-old children making these uh, crazily impassioned pleas to the people in Washington to do something about this, it boggles my mind. And then I say, right after that, after I see this, I say to myself, well, young daughter, young son, if they didn't move, when 26 elementary children were slaughtered. I don't have much help for you. Other than God. Now, now this is a... Um, this situation is not going to change uh, unless, unless it is changed. And, and I need to say that the status quo never voluntarily lets go. People have to change this. See? People have to change this. The first thing that gets cried out is somebody's mentally ill. <laughs> now, see, we have to be careful about that. Because really, people who are seriously mentally ill, for the most part, they're not that violent. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not that violent. What I would suggest is that there is pure evil in this society. And they are being driven by pure evil. And, 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 and furthermore, furthermore here's, a, here's something that makes sense to me. If, 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 okay, so if I'm evil or if I'm way off my rocker and I've got a mind to go hurt somebody, does it not make sense that if you let me have a gun, I can do more damage? Amen. Now, if I've got a mind to go hurt somebody but I can't get a gun, the best I can do is try to talk them to death. Right. <laughs> now, there are some people who can do that, but... but but that, that or, or, or physically, and, and, if, and if, if, if there was a physical confrontation, I'm sure that the young people would have made out much better. My, my, my point in this is that all of us are precious to God. Those little ones of us who are being, who are being slaughtered. What Jesus is trying to say to the Pharisees and the scribes and, and, and to the tax collectors and the sinners, look, all y'all are important to me. And I don't need any of you thinking that you are better than the other. Amen. Amen. Right? And if this is going to change, if this is going, I said to my wife the other day, I believe that if it's going to change, the young, as is always the case, the young people are going to have to take, take, take it over. They're going to have to take over Congress, take over whatever, and just go in and shut things down un until these, these idiotic grown-ups these, these cooperating grown-ups, how is it that we can let an organization called the NRA hold captive a whole country while people are being slaughtered? 
Now, look, I ain't saying nothing about those of you who have guns, and I'm sure that there's many of you who, who are here who do, but, but I, you, you, ought to have, you ought to have good sense, and you, ought to, and you ought to know that what's happening in this country does not make sense, and it is pure evil. Yes, you're, you're, you're cool, but do you know that this, that number 45 made it easier for people who are mentally ill to get a gun and, and not backing down from it. Meanwhile, he's talking about two Corinthians. Yeah. God is speaking to us and I believe we are we have to be his arms, his legs we have to be his uh, his hands, his feet we have to carry his, his message and, and when what we can do, we must do what we can do, all of us must vote and all of us ought to demand that all family members vote or never come back to your house I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. If you don't vote, if you don't vote, don't come back here. You know, because we're in an environment now where our, our see. And what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get us to uh, see is that see, it, we 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 even though it's tragic, we can look at this. And, <laughs> it's tragic, you know, but it's down there in Florida. All I'm trying to get us to see that that thing right there down in there in Florida. Is, is a half a second for, from Elizabeth, New Jersey. It's a half a second from Linden, New Jersey. It's a half a, it's even a fraction of a second from the school that your child goes to. And that's worth keeping a, a, a joker out of your house if they don't go vote to help make this thing different. Because it is not helpful. It is not helpful. Everybody, everybody stand. Everybody stand.